Look, all I got to say to put put some shit out there for the nigga, these 50 bars I give you going to feel like 50 lashes and Simone going to have to find a <laughs> spot up on the mantle for your ashes. The nerve of you to think that you could beat me at a joust and if you alive when I'm finished, she going to kick you out the house, nigga. They put us in a boxing ring and thought that that would end the fight. But I outlast your ass. But they gave you the Sprite. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? I got shit for this nigga, man. <laughs> shit that motherfucking that. Yo, that's it. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Right. Nigga, I got some shit for you, Chris. Is all I'm saying. You know I've never been scared of you, ever. On any level. On any level. You know what I'm saying? But I'm tired of motherfuckers saying, oh, we ain't never battled. That's it. We ain't never battled ever. So that shit needs to be put out there. And, and every chance I get, I'm going to fucking make sure niggas know the real shit. We ain't never battled. We did shows together, plenty of them. I had to save this man's life like two days before Scott got killed. You know what I'm saying? Come on. We, we had fun times together, but we never battled straight out. We went and did his show. I did my show. You dig what I'm saying? But now here right. we are 20 years later, and you 30 albums in. I produced Snow and stopped fucking with hip-hop, period. So now you want to take that as, oh, I put you out the game? No, nigga, I was sitting back spending these motherfucking millions while you were still working hard. <laughs> right. You criminal-minded because you ain't never been no criminal, and the damage that you do, that shit'll be minimal. Molly saved your ass because I could have did it back then and been serving time for life for killing your ass with an ink pen. Call yourself the <laughs> blast master? Go ahead, cock that shit back. And the only thing you're going to get is this foot up in your shit crack. I'm just trying to stop these silly lies that you've been telling them for years, and these words is coming out my mouth directly to your ears. And while you up there trying to reach your peak, trying to reach your pen, I'll be still down here talking shit, saying shit that's cynical. Break it down and chop it up, and break it off in intervals, and when they reach their final synopsis, they're going to see we not identical. Now that I done chill, you think you the man of the higher arm. And I think you think you on fire when you're merely just a spark. Like I said, I could have duffed your ass 30 years back, but Molly told me to chill. Hold off your attack. I hear you, Chris, you claiming that you're the gravest of all times, but it sounds to me like you a nigga that suffers from Alzheimer's. But as with Alzheimer's, it seems to me you must have forgot that Shan is that nigga that'll blow up your spot. And when it comes to dynamite, I don't need Al-Qaeda to back me. Shan is that motherfucker is what I'm saying. Exactly. And the only thing that you've got locked down is your dread. So you better stay calm, because I arm mine with warheads. Through the years, my flows have been known to blow gristle, tomahawk, mist. So harmonious that the words make the wind whistle. I'm coming from beyond with a mental state of affliction, and my misguided dialect will leave you in a state of affliction, pain, and constantly my diction reigns when I pour, and I still want war. We can never compare, son, because you and I, we opposite, though. You love the way I flip it when I grip it because it's lethal, and if rhyming was your key to success, I guess you shut out. Now open up that gate and let that motherfucking mud out. Ain't no shame in my game. I still roll in Cadillac and swing the battle axe and still remove niggas like you like cataracts never inertia always allow my mind to expand I'm in defiance and only men of science can understand I'm from the holy land and once I sip drinks from the holy grail douse the flames in my chest and stood on the pyramid's crest see my mind seems to hold time captive in a bottle swear my shit was Shakespearean and written by Aristotle and Plato but still I lay low but one day though I'm about to take all this shit little day they know this ain't no Drake and Meek Mill going back to back. This is Shannon KRS-One, and I don't need no track. Dweedle, 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 you on some Mark and Mindy shit. You can't fuck with my flows, let alone wipe off my spit. And in the end of the day, I ain't got no plans to lose. No longer do I smoke crack, and you can talk about my shoes, but I ain't seen a pair of shoes that been branded with the Chris name. But you say you took me out? That's a goddamn shame. And all I say is one, two, three... That nigga can't fuck with me. And if you want to go to the tip hop, let's do this shit real hip hop. You understand? MC Man. Shan, my style is true. That might be true because Drake took his singing ass style from you. But I bet you thought that Chris will never put me through the ringer. A real rap nigga getting dumped by a fucking singer. Do, 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 The bridge is over. Water, motherfucker. What you trying to take me for? Some other rap, motherfucker? 
I was a dragon that you supposedly slayed, so they said, but you should have popped two in my head, nigga. Dee 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 day. I'm wishing this nigga Chris would really come out and play. Now ask your fans if you should really respond or not, because you know deep in your heart that you might get got, nigga. Fucking around. That's your apology. Man. Make sure to subscribe Ooh. to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Like, comment, share. Also go over to UGSForLife.com, download the entire archive, and check out new episodes on Apple Podcasts and Blog Talk Radio.